Hey everybody, it's Steven, the 918 agent with Coldwell Banker. If this is your first time to our channel, please take a look around. If you're thinking about moving to Tulsa or just moving around Tulsa, or you just don't know really what Tulsa has to offer, take a look at this channel. This channel is for you. So we have a great video today. We're going over the five pros and the five cons about living in the Tulsa area. If you haven't done so, please like, subscribe, and turn on that little not notification bell so you can see all my future upcoming videos. I try to post every Monday, so definitely take a look on Mondays at my channel. Um, yeah, go ahead, you. Subscribe down below. I'll wait. All right, let's get right into it. So con number one is our traffic and our road conditions. So living in Tulsa, you have a little bit of traffic, maybe not compared to as much as other states like LA and Austin and Dallas, but expect a little bit of traffic. For me being a Tulsa native, anything longer than five minutes is a long time, but we on average have traffic in the morning, evening times, times while going to work, leaving work about 15 to 20 minutes. Another thing is our road conditions. With our weather being so hot to cold all the time, um, it puts a lot of stress on our roads. So our road condition and our bridges aren't the best. But Tulsa is doing their job. I'll give them a round of applause. They are doing a lot of uh, new road work around the Tulsa area. So I guess it's getting a little bit better. Con number two is our weather. So, a lot of people say we have a lot of seasons here in Tulsa. I respectfully disagree. We have two. We have hot and then we have cold. So, um, our hot can get up to like 100 degrees. Our cold is below freezing. We get a little bit of snow, nothing like Denver. We get a little bit of ice. Our last ice storm was like 2008 and it was pretty bad. But the real thing a lot of people have issues with is our tornadoes. Um, honestly, if you don't live in our actual Tornado Alley, which is around the Moore area, Norman Moore area. Um, you're pretty much okay. A lot of the tornadoes, since Oklahoma is spread out and it is a large rural community, um, it pretty much goes around, uh, you know, our rural areas. Um, not saying any city hasn't got hit here in Oklahoma. It just doesn't happen very often. <laughs> a lot of our citizens that, and residents that live here in Oklahoma you will probably see them on their back porch than in a storm cellar. We're crazy. Number three con is our property tax and our um, state tax. So, or state sales tax. So with our state sales tax, almost all states have state sales tax, but here in the Tulsa County, our sales tax is around eight, five to eight, seven. Our property tax now, as a state, we're actually ranked um, really low on property tax. We're actually 45th out of 50 on property tax. So we're, we're, we're on the lower, lower average of uh, our nation's property tax. However, Tulsa County is the number one county on property tax in Oklahoma. So we pay the most out of all the other counties here in Oklahoma. So, for example, be expected to pay anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000 in property taxes, depending on the price and the size of your home. Con number four is one of my least favorites, and that is the allergies. Um, with us having so much pollen in our area, um, we get some, at least I get some really, really bad allergies. So, when... Spring comes around, I take the Flonase and I take the allergy medication and I don't stop taking it until probably about October. So if you have problems with allergies, just get ready for it. Honestly, this has done wonders and I really don't have that much issues anymore. And con number five is our public schools. So I'm just going to give you the facts because my mom's a retired school teacher and I do not want her to put me in detention again. So Here's the facts. 11 out of 100 teachers quit teaching either by quitting altogether or moving to a different state, <laughs> Texas. Another thing is our students, um, 
get, we spend about $8,000 per student where the national average is about 11,000 per student. So we spend a little bit less than our national average here in Oklahoma. And another thing is, is the quality. So the quality of education, our, our, our students here in Oklahoma are getting uh, ranked to the other 50 states is about 45. So we are on the way lower end of quality compared to all of the other 50 states. Now, I'm going to go into more depth on this in our school districts in a future video. So definitely subscribe, take a look, because I will be going over this into more depth about different school districts around the Tulsa area. That will be awesome. So keep tuned. All right, pro number one, which I love going over pros, is our entertainment. So we have a lot of stuff here in Oklahoma. We have the Tulsa Aquarium. We have the Tulsa Zoo. We have the performing arts centers that have a lot of Broadway musicals that are awesome. We have escape rooms. We have a minor league baseball team, and we have a minor league soccer team, which a lot of people don't know that. But our best thing that I've liked probably the most is the Gathering Place. That is a brand new park that I believe Forbes or the New York Times did a cover article about. But it's an awesome free park for the Tulsa community. Um, a guy named George Kaiser built it. He's like a multi-billionaire. And he built it for all the Tulsa residents, giving the opportunity for kids that can't make it to a big theme park that they can come to the gathering place and have that type of experience. He's an awesome guy. Definitely check out the gathering place. It's totally worth it. Pro number two, and this is going to sound kind of weird because I was knocking our road conditions earlier in the traffic, but I will give credit to our highway system. It is laid out. Awesome. There's a joke that I always say when people ask me how long it takes to get to point A to point B here in Tulsa. And everyone says, Oh, it'll take you about 15 to 20 minutes. But really, it'll take you about 15 to 20 minutes to get anywhere in the Tulsa area because our highway system is so perfectly built with highways going through Tulsa, on the sides of Tulsa, you know, in you know, different directions. So it's really, really a great system. And number three pro is the cost of living in Oklahoma. Now, I'm going to make a whole separate video, and that's actually going to be the next video I post. So tune in next week. But I'm going to go over the cost of living in Oklahoma. But just to give you a little bit of an example is if you're looking for a three bedroom, two bath house, uh, be expected to pay anywhere from twelve to thirteen hundred dollars. Obviously, that's depending on the area you're living in. But thirteen to twelve hundred dollars for that type of house is very, very reasonable and realistic in this area. So tune in. I will go into more depth about the price of living here in Tulsa in a future video. Number four, and this is relates to a lot to me, but is the suburb, suburbs around the Tulsa area. So me and my wife, we live in a suburb north of Tulsa called Owasso. Um, reason why we chose to live here is family, friends. My wife graduated from Owasso. We really like it here. So that's the reason why we live here. But I work a lot in Tulsa with real estate. Um, so it takes me about 15 to 25 minutes to drive into Tulsa. Um, it, that's if I'm not hitting any traffic, but, uh, the suburbs are great. So we have a lot of suburbs that are, um, that are very, very nice, great schools like Broken Arrow, Jinx, Bixby, Owasso, Sand Springs. So if you want to live in Tulsa, but not live in Tulsa, one of these suburbs will be great. So you can still say you live in the 918. And number five is the good community and the nice people that live here in Tulsa. So I tell people that Tulsa, and people might disagree, but I tell people that Tulsa reminds me as a mini or smaller Austin, and we're not as weird. Um, we're very, very artistic here. We're very entrepreneurial spirited. Um, we're very creative. So you'll notice that once you go into our different districts in downtown, um, that you'll see those type of uh, attributes in, in the people here in Tulsa. We support local businesses, so that's great. And um, we're, we're in the Bible Belt, so um, you'll see a lot of churches. And our churches do a lot of, uh, a lot of re or outreach. So if you're looking for a church home, we have a lot of those around here. So take your pick, and you'll get fit in, you'll fit in great. Also, the people are really, really nice. Um, if you ever need something, need help, um, 
just let me know. I can help you if you're looking for a house or anything. Uh, I know a lot of people. So, yeah, nice people and good community. Pro number five. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. We went over the five pros and the five cons about living in Tulsa. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to this video. Sorry, it was a little bit longer than I, what I wanted. My goal is always to get around five minutes, but hey, had a lot of stuff to go over. Um, a lot of great videos coming up in the future, so make sure you always take a look back at this channel on Mondays. That's all I have for you, and I'll see you later. I'm leaving.